Welcome back on into Fox 43 AM Live. I'm joined now by Mr. Angel <laughs> here with United Way of Call Valley. How you doing today? Hey, pretty good. Glad to be here. Yeah, we're glad to have you here. Okay, so you guys just completed your annual campaign for 2022-2023 over at United Way. So tell me, how did it go? What's kind of the recap? What's the latest? Yeah, so, you know, we were we are always blown away uh, by the generosity of our community. So our community is all four of the counties we serve raised a little over $2.6 million Whoa. in this last year. So those dollars get reinvested <laughs> into the communities we serve. So that oh means gosh. hundreds of kids are, are going to be ready to start kindergarten, have tools they need to start school, ready to learn. And thousands of families are going to have access to tools they need to be financially stable, to meet their most basic of needs like food assistance, rent mm -hmm. utility assistance, all those things that we know are, are critical building blocks uh, for, for a better life. And so we, we could not be any more thankful um, to those donors that gave gifts big or small rather they gave a dollar or a thousand dollars all those gifts are going back out into the community to make a really big difference to help us build those strong healthy and equitable communities yeah oh my goodness and I mean kids of course they need those pencils those pens all of the school supplies to have a really good experience uh, educational experience at school right so it's wonderful you guys are providing that to not only the kids but the families too to give them those tools as well right absolutely you know we know it takes really the success of the whole family yeah. uh, to make kids to help kids get ready for school so we know that we can invest in kiddos all we want but if we're not helping parents get the tools they need to succeed we're not going to get very far so when we can help all members of the family be successful we know we can help everyone reach their full potential and it's it's i know that okay you guys finish one campaign <laughs> And you're already on to gearing the next up for one. one. <laughs> gearing up for the next one. So <laughs> do you mind telling me some about this uh, this next campaign you guys are putting together? Yeah, this is always an exciting time of year where we're planning yeah. for our next annual campaign. And so, you know, it takes a lot of moving pieces mm -hmm. uh, to help make that happen. So we're we're excited first off to kick off the campaign in Douglas County. We'll be kicking yeah. off our Douglas County campaign here really soon on Wednesday, August 15th yep, at the KU Alumni Center. We're really excited to kick off that campaign. And shortly thereafter, we'll be kicking off our, our Shawnee and Jefferson County campaigns Can as well. You give us any any sneak peeks of what the campaign's going to be? You know, uh, any any sort of details that you can reveal to us yet? Oh, or, or sure, no? <laughs> yeah. No, we're we're you know we're excited once again to announce a, a campaign goal. We'll be doing that here shortly too. Okay, and yeah. you know, we're really excited as a now merged organization. You know, last year we completed our, our merger with Douglas County, and so mm -hmm. this year we get to have a campaign that includes all four of the counties we serve. And so that's sort of the messaging we're really excited about and to talk about how in this region, this four county region, people have the opportunity to invest to make this entire part of Northeast Kansas really strong. And you guys are getting even bigger and bigger every year, we right? Are. I mean, exciting. that's so exciting stuff <laughs> there. Is. But of course, getting bigger means you need more volunteers. So do you mind speaking to, you know, anyone out there that might be wanting to volunteer? What do they need to do? And, um, you know, what are you guys looking for as far yeah. as that goes? Mm -hmm. So, you know, in order to make this campaign happen, you know, we've got a great <laughs> staff at United Way, yeah. um, but we have not learned how to be in two places at once. And so we... It's a very hard thing <laughs> to do. <laughs> right, <yeah>. Absolutely. <laughs> so we need volunteers to make that happen. So we yeah. have what we call campaign ambassadors. Um, and these are folks both in Shawnee County and Douglas County mm -hmm. that are essentially extensions of our staff. And so okay. they act as liaisons between United Way and the companies that run workplace campaigns. And so they do everything from, you know, speaking at those companies, getting campaign materials to them, that sort of thing. So we are actively recruiting uh, those folks in both Shawnee and Douglas County. They get full training from us and uh, kind of get to learn all the ins and outs of United Way. So they're fully prepared to go out into the community, but it's yeah. a, a great opportunity for them to learn more, really get in depth to United Way. Um, and to really help make a difference because they're the ones that end up collecting all those dollars that come into us. So they're some of our most critical volunteers we have. Of course. And if someone's interested in volunteering, do you just recommend that they come to your office or do you guys email or is there something online they can go to look at? Yeah, you know, if they're interested, they can actually contact me directly. So my oh, email is just aromero at uwcallvalley.org. <laughs> uh, so folks can contact me um, and we'll get them set up rather they're in Douglas County um, or Shawnee County. We could talk to them more about the details of what that all looks like. Um, but we love those some of our favorite volunteers to work with. Yeah, and I just, I know that, of course, like, they, these campaigns are wonderful. Like, you guys have said, team building activities. This is, you guys really, it seem like you're a family over there, yeah. and you care about one another. Absolutely. And so, I mean, it, all the more merrier, right, for volunteers. Absolutely. Yeah, we love, yeah, they, our campaign ambassadors serve from August to November, so they're with us for okay, a good yeah. chunk of the fall, and so it is exciting. It brings more energy to our offices and that sort of thing to have them around. Oh, well, Angel, you, uh, your energy has made me smile. <laughs> I mean, you have amazing energy. 
strategy. So, you know, very excited for you guys over there at uh, Caw Valley. It sounds like, it, you know, especially with 2.6 million, that's yeah. wonderful to invest back in our communities. So. Absolutely. And we know we can do more too this next year. So <laughs> every year we raise more money this year than we did last year in some ways. And so we're really excited to, to do that again this coming year. Uh, well, thank you so much, Angel. You have been a, a breath of fresh air uh, this morning. So we appreciate it and uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Hey, thank you. You too.